Oversharing is caring. And this week's topic is all about uni accommodation, the nightmares, the good parts, housemates, you know, the good, the good, bad, the ugly. Yeah. But before we started, we just want to say um, we, each week that goes on, we're getting more and more. more and more and more responses. And we really do appreciate it. But obviously, we can't get through every single yeah. one. We don't read it out. It, we. No. We don't hate you if you yeah. don't read it out. It's not fun. <laughs> yeah. It's not not funny. No, yeah, there's so much. Well, we'd be here for hours if, like, if we could read all of them. Yeah, and that wouldn't be very interesting. Then no one would watch. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. no one would watch. Speaking of watching, a lot of people, you know, mm-hmm. watching the videos on YouTube, why not subscribe them? And that's so rude because <laughs> you wanna you wanna be here. You wanna see every week. You come back every week. Just subscribe. You know, it's not gonna like please. subscribe and maybe comment. If you're feeling quirky and yeah. jerky, just give us a comment. Yeah, just tell us what you liked about it. Give us a little timestamp. Oh, I love this <laughs> one. Off. It was my question. <laughs> please, please subscribe. No, we'd really appreciate please. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On a serious one. <laughs> but how's your week been, Joe? What have um, you been up to? Um, so not much. I did before my like first draft of my diss mm-hmm. on the Thursday and it got ripped to shreds. Yeah. Um, they basically said it couldn't have gone any worse. <laughs> Um, they I had to spend the whole weekend changing the script. Do I like it now? Yeah. Well, they said that last time, and then when I performed it, they were oh. like, "Yeah." Um, it's meant to be thirty-five minutes long. It was an hour. Well, that's why I maybe just <laughs> put a bit. Too it was. Much it in. was. It was awful. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what else? Oh, and then um, so the guy that in in quotation marks, like speaking to, not speaking to, kind of thing. Mister Nipple Clamp him. <laughs> Mr. Nipple, nipple clamping. clamping himself, yeah. Um, he's just blanked me. Oh, please. Mm-hmm. Rich, I don't know. He's just very, completely very, blanked me. He's very me. cocky. And the more more I know, find out about him, I think he's very... I'm cocky. not about to slag him off, because I... <laughs> no, I'm not even... I'll say it to his face as well. I think he's quite cocky. Um, but, yeah. but yeah, he's just com- he's a, just blanked me. And, after you know, he left the club early... After I left the club early, f- for him, my sister's going to kill me. <laughs> She doesn't know. Sorry, girl. Uh-oh. Yeah, but yeah, it's no, it's it's annoyed me because I, I don't like, I don't like, like, I'm not like head over heels for him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, long story short, I'm on these new meds and mm. they basically don't make me feel anything. Like, I yeah. feel no emotion at all. But, it's yeah. kind of weird. Um, yeah. And like, I don't, I haven't caught feelings for him in the slightest. Mad. Um, that is mad. No, I know. From going from my past experiences, mm. like, when I would just kiss one boy in a club and then I would just... Be in love. Be in love with him. Yeah. It doesn't take a lot for me to fall in love, but like, yeah. what, I've shagged this guy like every Wednesday now for the past like month. Yeah. And I haven't fallen in love. What the hell? What the... I know. Well done. Well done. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's annoyed me. Just a bit. Yeah. It's just a bit, bit annoyed me. I'd say, I don't have a low point, but I think a big mistake that I made this week... I've been thinking about it a long time. So, you know, what was it, like, two episodes ago now, I was bare, bare on my high horse about how I'm over this person, done with oh, her, light. over oh. it, that kind of thing. Literally, um... Power move. It, yeah, was, a, it had, was a big I power had, move. I had, I, had, I had all the power. Yeah, I... I pied off someone that I do... I do really care about, and it was quite rude of me to do this. My guy's all over me in the club. Got me drinks, everything. Pied him off. Rugby then, league. Rugby league bet. Sorry, guys. And then every, <laughs> and then an hour later, I just, I took that girl home and I was like, yeah, fuck it, why, who cares? And then the next morning, I was in my lecture, everyone was like, what the fuck, not in my lecture, but every, all I meant mm. like, I'm so disappointed in you, how could you do that to him? And I was like, look, there's an hour in between both things happening, but I did text him the next morning and apologise. It ha- was bad. Yeah. I would be quite hurt. Yeah, and I felt like the soul he is, I thought he might be, bit, well, I'm not big myself up, but bad move for me. He turned down someone else as well. Yeah. And he got me a drink. <laughs> he's one of me. I'm taking the free drinks. He's out tomorrow, I think. Don't say if he's like this. Oh, I can make it up to him. So sorry. Uh. I didn't say it. Sorry in person, Joe. Get your mind out of the gutter. And then kiss him again. No, because I'm going to be dressed horrendously. What's your theme? We are doing, this is my highlight of the week actually before we've done it. We're doing British icons. Oh shit. Oh yeah. So me and someone else are, do you know what we're doing? Yeah. Yeah, we're going, we're going to Lou and Andy from, um, oh, fuck what's it called? Little Britain with a wheelchair. Because we have a wheelchair. 
So she's going to be in the wheelchair and I'm going to be with the frizzy hair and everything. So I'm that sounds quite fun. It's going to be sick. I had the outfit nailed. Mm. But, um, yeah. And someone else out tomorrow as well. What was he out tomorrow? Who? Um, Nipple clamp? No, no, no. One of your freshers. Because I need to go and social. Oh. He's going to the club oh, he's after. such a gem. He's going to the club afterwards. Uh, probably. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you can watch the podcast together again. No, I haven't any money. Um, no, I need to go. It's a, it's no, I need to go one. It's not a cess day this week, so I can have fun and not feel guilty about it. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> so the first question that we're going to speak about is what? How can you be a good housemate? How can you, you know, you know, not be a twat? How can you actually be a good housemate? Um, clean, clean, right? Not be overly clean. No, but like not, not leave like nagging. dirty shit all over the sides. Yeah. Do your dishes or make use of the dishwasher if you have one. If you have I a dishwasher, you're so lucky. For some reason. Actually, because I think the dishwasher is so political. Well, how many times have you, Excuse how, me? How many times have you unloaded it? You never unloaded it. And I'm, but I just do it in my own time. That's how I see it sometimes. It, it can get quite... In the heat at the moment, the same few people are doing it over and over again. How the... F- no, sorry, Al. That just means I don't do it enough. I, <laughs> really do enough. I actually... A lot of things I say, I don't do, like... I have shit all over the house. You do? We have a shoe rack. We bought a shoe rack. Why all my shoes just in a pile at the bottom of the shoe rack? Not in the... <laughs> just, just in a heap, like a heap. Not even... It's just bad. I just, mm. And your room as well. Yeah, my room is so bad. But... You had mould growing in it. In, in, in a, a cup. cup. Yeah, that was before Christmas. It's gone now. It was gone before Christmas. But like when, um, so one of our housemates has a, when she gets drunk, she just has to like manically clean. So I came <laughs> oh, home, yeah. I came home on Wednesday with the girl and I was like, um, hello, okay, clean room. I was shocked, the fan was on, my bed was made, all my clothes were chucked in my shower and just the door was shut. <laughs> So thank God I knew her because I was like, oh yeah, that's just all my shit in the shower. Ignore that. But um, yeah, but she like sprayed my floor like accidentally. You know, like, like crease releaser. Yeah. It got on the floor. So my floor's been so slippy. I've been slipping and sliding all over my floor recently. <laughs> it's a hazard. But stay tidy. Yeah. It's <clears throat> yeah, stay tidy. Yeah. I think that's the main one. That's like the main one because... Don't be horrendously loud. You've got placement people in your house as well. That phone, that phone shade at someone. No, not even actually. I didn't, didn't intend to do that, but I just because I have a placement house, I know. Yeah, true. But I did do my respect. I did my two, my two, two months, two, two months, months of oh. placement actually. Yeah. Um, I hated it. Yeah, you dropped out, didn't you? Yeah, I did drop out. <laughs> Couldn't take it anymore. Now she's a murderer. Oh, it's her. Yeah, her, yeah, yeah. Mad court trial ongoing, so I can't name her, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate, I've got to be careful of these things. But honestly, I like I think not being loud and just keeping your mess to yourself in yeah. a sense. And being respectful. Yeah. I think they're the main two. Yeah. Three like, even. Make use of a house group chat. It's all you need yeah. in a house group chat. I think be honest with people. I think especially if you're living with people for like a long amount of time, you have a, a set amount of trust with each other. Yeah. And you just understand people and you can tell when someone's pissed off or mm-hmm. when you've wound someone up just put it in the house chat you have a little family at the end of the day because you, you do live together for such a long time 24 7 yeah man mean. especially my first year I was with 11 other strangers mm. during COVID in lockdown it's such an intense environment as well mm-hmm. like you need to know when to stop yeah because I feel like people yeah, can just, people keep pushing buttons and they know it's pushing buttons yeah you just need to, like, you know, just relax it. Don't be afraid to take your own time as well. Because mm-hmm. I, I, my mum tells me this all the time, because you're always with people. You never have, like, time to yourself. And that yeah. Way. And then it just works, like, builds up. And then I'm um, for two days. Or I go home because I'm so stressed out. Yeah. Because I just, you need to take time to yourself. You need time to yourself, otherwise you do just get overworked. Yeah, exactly. Over- overwhelmed, overstimulated. Yeah. It's not a good thing. For a, for a. And you're, you're, you know, you're paying so much money, you want to focus on your course yeah. as well. Yeah, but back to everyone else's experiences. Maybe make ours feel a bit better. Whoop, whoop. So the first one. Our flatmate used to walk around barefoot and practice her karate in the kitchen while we were cooking. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, red flag, you would never see. Actually, no, I do sometimes. But like, do not walk around your kitchen barefoot. That is so hazardous. 
it's like that and like getting close to a club floor. They're, they're the same out of dirty, I'd say. Kitchen floors. Sorry, just the karate. <laughs> Sorry, I'm more, I'm more fussed about the kitchen floor because I'm like, girl, slay you with the karate. Why? Like, imagine just cooking dinner and then like she just knocks your pan. She's like, oh, how high can I kick? Like, get off my pasta pan, please, girl. No, but that's... Yeah. I don't, oh, that's kind of weird, sorry. No, barefoot in the kitchen is irking me a bit more, I'd say. Slay with the karate. Karate? Ka- karate. Karate. <laughs> please, put some socks on. <laughs> please. Right. The girl I was sharing a room with in first year, who was also my friend at the time, slept with... Oh, wow. Slept with my boyfriend. <gasps> no, it gets worse. And filmed a sex tape, oh. which eventually got leaked on a university group chat, and that's how I found out. <gasps> Oh, oh my! She is no. not your friend. No, 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 no. That's awful. No, that's bad. If you if you're gonna do, if you're that gonna so do, bad. if you're gonna look, if you're gonna do that, can you not film it and put it online? Like for real, like that's so risky. That's no, that is that's awful. awful. That's really sorry. I'm gonna, gonna we're gonna I'm gonna have to whip out the c word again. Three, two, one. Cunt. Yeah, it is awful yeah. behaviour. That right. is that is bad. I would have honestly decked her. Guy in my flat last year decided I'd stolen one of his plates during Freshers Week and would only ever respond to my messages in the flat group chat with, yeah, but where's my plate? He found the plate in the back of his cupboard when he was moving out. <laughs> Girl, look, like, uh, everyone loses things every now and then. Yeah. But for a whole, to have like a, a hold of grudge for a whole year, why not look in your cupboards? How are you not looking in your cupboards and ask to find your, your, your lost plate? Uh, funny though, I think that's quite funny. What, stealing someone else's plate? Well, she didn't. He was like, where's my plate? When she spoke, where's my plate? <laughs> I have nothing to say to you. Where's my plate? <laughs> hey, that's power move. Good on him for keeping up. Flat for real? Up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, a housemate once punched a hole in our cupboard whilst having prees. Worst part was I wasn't at home, so I didn't see it till the next day when I left the library. Oh, pl- I hate people that punch rings. It really irks me. No, my brother punches our house walls all, all the your time. family punch rings. Oh no, no! Someone, you're just told me. Oh yeah, no. Um, Not like you run around punching shit, but you've all no. Punched. My brother gets really bad intrusive thoughts and just pu- like punches a wall. Yeah, or, the, or like, like shoves his head through the wall. Like, why are you punching your cupboard? Yeah, that's weird, actually. Sorry, Come that's... Come on, man, get a stress... You're not getting something. your deposit back. No, you're not. And that is someone's... That is your issue, and you just sort it out. No, that's so icky as well. Just imagine. <laughs> oh, you're trying to have pre. Imagine us having pre, and then Alex just, like, standing up and punching the wall. Oh, my God, what are you doing? <laughs> sit down. Grow up, I just neck your drink, please. Just sit, just sit down and drink. Every night I would fall asleep to my housemates having sex in the room next door. I once had a girl around and she actually left because she didn't want to listen to them shag. That's what I mean. Don't be loud. Be respectful. No, I yeah. no, my second second year house pit lived below the girl who and she would have sex so loud I couldn't get to sleep. I was trying to I was listening to like whale noises, oh. dolphin noises to try to get to sleep. Really? All I heard was slaps oh. and moans. Um, mm. When I told her to be quiet, she was even louder. Um, That's just... It's so disrespectful. No, mate, it is so rude. Like, please, I'm actually trying to sleep. Like, shove all, a pillow every, over your face. Every now and then, right, it's calm. Like, everyone here's their husband's having sex, right? It's not a big deal. Mm. When it's, like, always constant, that's yeah. sure to get on someone's nerves, like... Yeah, like, I woke up my housemate the other week for having sex too loud. Have you done it since? No. There you go. You... you you probably do another one every, no- like, two weeks, maybe? <laughs> you know, it's a Do difficult. another one, yeah? <laughs> yeah. At this difficult. rate, no, not from him. Well, there's other people around. True. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I was the nightmare because I kept cutlery in my room and denied it. Well, like, stop with cutlery? Huh? They mean, like, he would take other people's cutlery because if that... Was the sense that's actually really annoying because that is annoying because you don't have endless amounts right, of cutlery. We have no cutlery in the house. I've gone. This is my third year at uni now. I've gone with a whole full cutlery set. Never lost anything. Maybe a little spoon. Yeah. I've got two forks left. About four <laughs> knives. Why else are knives? I don't know. I've, no, that's the same. I've got two. I've got two forks left. Also found. I found my fork broken on the sink. I thought, and we're going to end up to this. Yeah. No, no one messaged me about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'm gonna, buy, I'm gonna have to buy new cutlery. Cutlery's like gold man. dust as well because you can't be bothered to then go out to the shop yeah. and buy a new set of cutlery. And like, it was, you see my cutlery, it's so nice. It's lovely. Aldi, just saying. Wow. But like, 
no, I'm just struggling to find cutlery. And we, the whole house is the same boat. We don't know where our cutlery is going. Mm. It doesn't like we will empty like our little cutlery bowl when we do the dishwasher. This is vanished. Where where is it? She's gone. She's gone for a walk. It's upsetting, honestly. Cut- oh, just- Cutlery is a big thing as well. Yeah. How, you, how the fuck are you supposed to eat? With your hands? And I'm using my other housemates' cutlery. And they're like, what are you doing that for? I'm thinking, I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, it's gone. <laughs> I've got any fork. <laughs> like, one of my housemates, she lost all her cutlery within the first, like, term. Oh, And no. I was like, girl, I don't know where it is. Mm. And then now look at me, two years later, I still can't find my cutlery. Yeah. Well, but- I went to buy cutlery first, uh, at the beginning of third year. I got ID'd. Ooh, what for, for, what for the knives? Knives and forks. Mm. Like they could do any harm. They're blunt as fuck. Yeah, true. I didn't have my ID on me anyway, so I had to go without any food that night. <laughs> 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 no. I was staying... Sorry, also, we are planning to go buy more cutlery. I just thought we had to go out. We've decided now for next year we're going to buy more cutlery. Oh, I forgot you're staying for another year. Yeah, I'm still for another year. We're sick of it. Sick of it, so we're going to buy more cutlery. I'm gonna just buy house in. cutlery. Yeah, that's what me and one of the girls are going to do. Because... Mm. I think we're planning on like just joining. Well, we don't talk to other people about this, but we're just gonna join all, all the plates and bowls together. Just easier. That's a good idea, to be fair. Yeah, don't know how the new people are gonna feel about it, but me and my mate are gonna do it anyway. Yeah, regardless, more 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 cupboard space. I was staying. Yep, I was staying at <laughs> mate's accom- accommodation after a night out. He said he was going to go and stay with his <clears> girlfriend. <throat> And as he was leaving the flat, I saw him walk into a dorm two doors down. His girlfriend lives in a different building. <gasps> he just cheated with Jess. Oh, my there. God. Uh, you know, again, not even going to bring context into it, but if you're going to cheat, can you at least do it like a bit, try and be clever with it? Why would you do it so stupidly? I have no time for cheaters. No, but if you're going to fucking, why are you being so silly about it? That's why, so if you, <laughs> Oh, my if God. If you know you can see the, t- you know... Oh, I think it's ridiculous. And your mate's over, man. Spend some time with your bro. Mm. Spend some time with your bro. No, instead he goes and cheats. I hope the girlfriend knows. I hope he knows. <laughs> You'd hope so. Yeah, I hope she knows. And they're over. <coughs> <laughs> that she doesn't stand for it. <laughs> um, one of my flatmates spilled cream in our fridge and left it in there. Still, it started growing mould. I think till it started growing mold. That's disgusting. That is, we. That is vulgar. That is right because cream smells because it's yeah, dairy. It will yeah. Stink up the house. Yeah, we, that only happened to us in the beginning of second year. We, one of our housemates, Alex, Alex had like made something with cream, right? And he put it back in the fridge. Somehow, that spilled, and he was like, "Oh shit." I think he cleaned up the first time, even though he didn't he didn't do it. He cleaned it up because it's a boys' fridge. And then we had a party. Again, somehow this cause people keeping the drinks in the fridge, this cream is spilled all over the boys' fridge. And Alex was like, I didn't spill it. I'm not cleaning it up. Mm. And the boys were like, Well, it's not we didn't fucking do it, it's not our cream, we're not doing it either. But there's no way to prove there's no way to prove that it could be anyone at the party. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the whole day we're all hung over. We'd gone to the calf the whole time. The boys are arguing. I'm not cleaning the cream up. I'm not doing it. <laughs> well, Alex, it was your cream. You need to do it. And like, cream. It was cream gate. It was a massive thing. <laughs> and um, in the end, our neighbours, two girls, came with us from the calf to the, the calf. Came back and cleaned up the cream because they were sick of it hearing everyone arguing. Oh about my it. god! So it, it was Alex's cream. Why didn't he mm. clean it up? Because I'm. I didn't spill it. I was like, yeah, I should cream. Bro. I feel like if you haven't smelt like. Any kind of dairy mm-hmm. mold, like expect that. Yeah, awful. my milk goes off all the time, and that is disgusting. I thought I, I bought it like know. a week. I bought it like a full week. Mm. Obviously, I opened it to have cereal, and then I smelt this rank thing in this fridge. Poured it out, and it was in clumps. Oh, this milk was in clumps. The thing is, I'd take right, a moment out of cycle. I was about with, to vomit. With, <laughs> the thing is with me, right? So there's one like pint of milk mm. in my in in our girls' fridge. I don't know how long to. But I'd seen it be like, oh, people hate me. Like, it was, I'd seen like a week after it gone out of date, and I thought, oh, what the hell? Who's that? They can sort it out. It's, it's, not, it's not open or anything. It's not going to cause them. It got to like a month, and no one had like claimed it. And I was thinking, right, science fair, let's see how long it, will, it can last. Oh. I want to see how long, like, you could see it all like oh. split in. And I was really intrigued in like looking at how this, how it like decomposed, but then someone threw it away. And I was like, oh. I was really, really enjoying it. Because you couldn't smell it. It was, it was just looking at it. I was just looking at it and I thought, oh. But then they... 
threw away. And I was really upset because I was really, really into watching it. They didn't care. You need to fo- that's, find something interesting to do. My flatmate wakes up. Well, this is quite interesting. My flatmate wakes up at six in the morning and plays drum and bass super <laughs> loud. So, um, all I'm going to say to that is I think you, there's something you need to sort out because if you're waking up in the, at six, first of all, at uni, yeah, it's weird. Playing so, drum and bass. Yeah, something something is up. You need to get yourself sorted out. Do you want to speak to your mum? Speak to someone? Yeah. Because I'm all for playing drum and bass in the day, like, you know. Pre's, not at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Please, first thing you wake What's up. What's going through your head? Oh, you know what? Let me play some like chase and status. Oh my god. Let me play some shy effects. Oh my god. No, I could not. No. No. Let's put some dimension on. No, let's not put some dimension some on. Headaches. Oh my god. It, if I find out it's headaches, I'll be so upset. Oh, that's this weekend. That's this weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> got work. Headaches go. Um got a noise complaint while making my dinner at 8 30 p.m. I have a massive thing about noise complaints, especially from neighbours. I'm yeah. like, what was it like? We were having, we had a party on Saturday. It was like, what, 10, 10 p.m.? And the neighbours were complaining. Bearing complain- in mind, their kids scream at six o'clock in the morning, waking us all up. Mm. And we're like, please be quiet. We don't go, you don't see us knocking on their door saying, oh, can you keep your children quiet, please? No. Um, I should acknowledge any noise complaints or care until 11 p.m. And then I will rush, let's let yeah. you know, rack it. But I think... If it's the weekend, but leniency, it's the fucking weekend. Yeah. Sorry, we are you you know you're surrounded by uni houses. And there was, there was one time we had one of the first parties in second year we had. Everyone was around, it was great. And then we all had left the club, left the club like before twelve. Mm. And there's like a house that lives like it's a taller house than ours, so it looks into our garden and yeah. you can see. And he complained and then messaged our landlord like they're so loud, it's disgraceful. They came back at one in the morning and being super loud as well. He emails us and was like, You can't do this. And we were like, We weren't even in the house. Like, that no one came back to our house at that time. Yeah. Like, not enough people came back to make such a big noise. So now, like, in the summer, we've got to be like cautious oh, of this shit. one neighbor because he hate he just hates this house for any reason. Yeah. And like, the landlord was like, You know, we've got really good relationships with this guy. Please be considerate. We were like, Sorry, we woke you up, but like we that wasn't actually us. Yeah. We, we were out. We sent receipts of us being out of the house mm-hmm. after, like, just before the threshold, and we know I was back. It was so dramatic. Yeah, I feel like, especially if you live in like a residential area, mm. people will just try come for you for anything, just try to get you kicked out. Yeah, like, please let us live. But there's um, also like you're the one that chose to like live next to a uni house. Then other people said he's quite a fun, like he's quite a, not a weird guy, but like hates. That our landlord has the houses. Yeah. And I'm thinking... They're lovely actually. houses. Yeah. Also, 8.30 p.m., why are you getting a noise complaint? Like, yeah. What the hell are you doing? How loud is your cooking? For them to be like, okay, it's not 11 p.m. yet, but that's yeah. loud. Nah. There's this guy in my flat that repeatedly does annoying shit. But recently, I've had enough exclamation <laughs> point. It was 3.34 a.m. and I could hear shouting and running in the corridor, exclamation mark. I opened my door. They're having a fucking Nerf bullet fight. I lose my temper and start screaming at them. One girl just stares at me and starts laughing. I have never wanted to slap someone more. My flatmate then proceeds to put on the group chat, if anyone finds a nerf bullet, let me know. The audacity. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dramas in that. That was really made me feel like I was there. That's annoying though. But then I know for a fact that if it was me with a nerf gun, I wouldn't give a shit. I can see both sides. I'm having a nerf gun. Yeah, but like, like a please. nerf gun, you know what I mean? That is so fun. In a, in a uni corridor as well, that is perfect, perfect mm. space to do one. Just do it outside. I get both sides, but don't be putting them the next day. Hey, if you have a nerf bullet, can you like, let me know. No, look for yourself. <laughs> I ain't helping you. Why do I help? You can't <laughs> help. <laughs> He's telling me mm. now you will indulge in a nerf, nerf, nerf gun fight at 3.34 a.m. after a night out. No, be, that Being drunk as well, that'd be quite funny. Yeah. Imagine me... Annabelle coming back from a good night out, or we're all one already. Give us a Nerf gun. I'll be shooting at the doors. I would not care. <laughs> I would, and I'll own up to it. I would. I'd be shooting it everywhere. That'd be sick. That's that's quite funny. Yeah, I like that. that's quite yeah. funny. Um, our house in third year was haunted. Not a joke. My housemate went away and returned from a two-week holiday after locking her bedroom door. She was the only one with the with a key to access the room. 
All of her LEDs and candles are in the middle of the bedroom when we open the door two weeks later. Fuck off. A week on, myself and my other housemate came back from the weekly food shop. We was the only ones in the house as everyone had gone home and could hear running water. I walk upstairs past the bathroom. The door was closed. It never is unless someone uses it. Me and my housemate hadn't. I shout down for my housemate and said, have, have any of the girls come back from home yet? They hadn't. Opened the bathroom door and both taps were on full and doors were closed. That shit, I've heard stories like this before. Oh, I don't that like this. Shit don't like this kind scary. of stuff. Why? Look I, look, I get the candles in the middle of the room. What's the LEDs got to do with it? Please. Were they, I bet, were they red? I'd be so annoyed. I'm like... Red LED time. lights are definitely like, feeling sexy. <laughs> no, but like, that is so scary. And I've heard stories like that before. That yeah, but lots of... All, most uni houses are so old as well. We had a dingy basement a second year. It was disgusting. Yeah. Like, they had... Um, for some reason, they bought down um, wood and they had wood mice. Is that wood mice? Is that what, wood mites? Wood lice. No, not lice. Mites. I think mites, they're wood mites. Mites, mites, yeah. Mites, yeah, I think they're mites. Um, and our ba- basement where it's infested with wood, wood mites and they were like slowly crawling their way up to the top landing. Uh. Um, yeah, I always have to check. I always have to check like my closet to see if there's like some things in there. We've, we've got a spirit that follows us since first year. Um, some... Like a couple of the boys have been having like really bad like nightmares, borderline sleep paralysis, probably kind of <laughs> did. And like they'd wake up and like they saw a figure you know, that was really tall and we were like, oh shit. And so I was like, wait, Kobe Bryant did just die. What? So, so we, we named the spirit Kobe because the way they described it was like, it could be Kobe Bryant. Like he's come to oh, us. Relax it, please, and Al. Then, and then I think, <laughs> so... Kobe, the spirit, travelled to... some respect on Kobe Bryant. <laughs> no, for real, respect, but, like, love that. But he, like, caught, he like came to all of our rooms. Alex was so scared. I had, like, loads of evil eyes. So my room was safe, but he took one of... He doesn't leave any of that stuff, right? He, for about a good half of the year... Well, when did Kobe die? It was the day he died. Um... <laughs> He, I think, if he was to haunt <laughs> someone, he'd have better things to haunt he, than uni he students. Put an, he had the evil eye next to his bed the rest of the year and would not give it back to me. He's like, no, I want Kobe to come back. It really freaks him out. And every time, you know, every year, it's the anniversary of his very tragic death. I go, guys, it's been a year since Kobe died or two years. And they're like, nah, El, don't be saying that shit. And I'm like, guys, but when weird shit happens, we just blame it on Kobe. <laughs> we just do blame on Kobe and like it really books when the boys out it, but he never came up to our floor I think he went to the first floor he never came up to the top floor you, know, you always hear about scary ghosts like why can't we have like a Casper yeah man like a Casper Pick the my ghost food for me yeah oh, Christ. clean my room for real like why can't we yeah. have get more Caspers in the world yeah please guys please I'd love you to do that my housemate decided that when she was constipated Sorry, that just took me back a bit. My <laughs> housemate, my housemate decided that when she was constipated and very intoxicated, that it was a normal idea to wipe the shit that was on her finger on the wall. <gasps> Why I, is the shit on the finger? Oh my god, that's that's grim, disgusting. Girl. No, like I, I've never understood why. What if I'm constipated? I'm gonna finger my arse I'll get a shit out that's actually not how it works guys I have well did suffer with very bad constipation when I was younger <laughs> what? you don't put a sticky finger up there's not going to do anything is it? no, no stick, shove it up even more yeah you have to get like no I'm sorry no that's just not yeah. okay and like, then um, not, maybe like maybe okay, maybe you've done that and gone oh shit like oops, oh, pardon, pardon. under the tap it goes sorry let me just like do that in a sec why are we just dirty dust of vile that Alcohol is, is not an excuse for that one, please. No, girl. that is wrong. If I'm sorry. It, get some more of a coal. Huh? Get, get some, if you can't spray, get some more of a coal. It's like a drink sachet. It tastes like really shit Ribena. Put it in your water. Neck it. Softens the stool. <laughs> Softens the anus. Right, back in the day when I was younger. It's not to do uni at all, but when I was back, back in the day, like primary school days, I didn't fucking shit for two weeks. It was so rough. <laughs> Doctor's appointments, hospital appointments. Oh, sorry. I yeah. don't want to speak about what I had to do to get that shit out in the end. Okay. Yeah. That's lovely. Sorry. <laughs> you need that shit for like a festival. No, because what you've got to do 
Joe to get the shit out. It's not good. Oh, you got to fist yourself. No, but can I tell you? Basically, you get these like little, they're like, like, they're like cod liver oil tablets. Oh. They're like that. And you take it out. It's like, it's like a jelly kind of thing. You have to shove it up your ass, let it sit, melt, and like soften everything. But you can't shit immediately afterwards because you'll just shit it back out. You've got to let it go up your soft everything, come out. Uh, rough two weeks for me, honestly, it was really rough. That was great. Traumatized. That's, that's gross. Traumatized. Now I take. Now I've. I take precautions. That's disgusting. And I hate going through that. So no, well. if I ever caught one of my housemates sh- putting their human feces on the wall, I would go ballistic. I would leave the house actually. Awful. If I can find someone else. Awful. <gasps> okay, shit story about a housemate. Perfect. Back in the beginning of second year, you heard story. Um, two of the boys went out to a very dodgy club in Northampton, right? Brought two boys back, two random boys they brought, they brought back. Um, and they, for some reason, these two boys were, not my housemates, these two boys were smashed, shat in an Aldi bag, <laughs> left, it, left it in one of our housemates' rooms, <gasps> smeared all this shit on the door. And the, the guy, uh, they'd leave, obviously. No one realised it because everyone's drunk. The boys wake up and my housemate's like, Guys, there's a pile of shit in my room. Like, <laughs> why is there shit in my room? And we were like, oh, was it the bag of like the mouldy food someone left out? No, no, no. no. H- shit, human shit. And we're like, nah, please relax. You're being dramatic. We go down, someone's poor, lovely Aldi bag, shit in it. And we're <gasps> like, you're lying, we've just moved in. So, warning, don't ever bring people back from clubs in Northampton because they will shit in bags <laughs> and smear it. And he was like, why has someone done this? We're like, look, I don't know. That's vile. Great, it was. We, th- we laugh, but I still know though, because we're like, it was rank as well. Mm. That's take it aside, put it in the b- so rough. Okay, so we're just gonna have a pause, yeah, from the responses, yeah, to quickly discuss. Do you think you can have a relationship with a house or a flatmate? No, 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 no. Touch, on this, touch on this before. I, yeah. I just don't think it works too much time together, like too much because it. You'd have started seeing each other when you're living together. Yeah. You can have yeah. no time apart. You know, relationships start the best when you know, okay, yeah, as much as it's good to have time together, you need space away. What You haven't got an escape. Mm. Normally, like, your partner's house is the escape or your own house or where yeah. your partner's escape. You don't have that. And then if you break up as well, it just creates a whole different dynamic. Yeah. It's just not... It's, it's weird and no, awkward. I, just think, I mean, yeah. I think it can work, but then yeah. if it goes tits up, then you're fucked. Yeah, I don't think I know anyone that it was start. That got no, I don't think I do. Actually, lived together. No. No, I, sh- I just don't think it is. It's not wise. Yeah, it might be fun, but for your sake, for their sake, for everyone's sake. Yeah, just have like meaningless sex with them instead. Yeah, if we catch feelings, don't. <laughs> literally. Yeah. God, literally, don't catch feelings. Don't catch feelings. But like, it's never like people see each other in my first year house. Mm. Never worked. It's just, it, no. Sorry. I don't, well, if you've got, if anyone has any proof that it does work, let us know. But we haven't seen that. No, I'm yet to, I'm yet to see it. And you've only got how long left? Two months. Sorry to bring that up. Two months and I graduate, guys. The hell. I don't know I don't. what I want to do with my life. <laughs> I don't graduate because. Oh. Anyway, so but. You know, right, flat says flat says might work. That says might work. But back back to the responses because we still have a good good amount. Right. My mates went to view houses for second year without a nightmare person they lived with them for hang about. My okay, right. My mates went to view houses for a second year for a second year without without one of their nightmare housemates they lived with. And she followed them around campus for ages, calling them snakes for not wanting to live with her. No, I think that's okay. So if you were a nightmare in your house and kind of think people liked you and the rest of your house went for a viewing yeah. without you, you're, you're going to throw them around campus. You have better things to do. Oh, oh, sorry. No, I've, I, it's okay that they've just they gone don't to the house. They don't like her. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. I just, what is it? The 5Gs. Good God, girl. Get a grip. Excuse me? What? 5Gs? Never heard of that. <laughs> you haven't watched Drag Race then because good God, girl. Get a grip. Yeah, maybe you need to look at yourself and be like, maybe yeah. I'm the problem. Yeah. You're walking around campus for them snakes. You have better things to do. That's weird. You definitely have an assignment due soon. <laughs> Focus on that. <laughs> um, 
Some of the old boys from our team didn't take their bins out for six months and just kept all the bin bags in their garden. They put them all out the front to be collected on bin day. <clears throat> and the bin men were banging on their windows, calling them dirty pricks. <laughs> <laughs> That's that is, quite funny. I find that quite funny. That is funny, but like, why? Just put them out on the day that they go out. Like, oh, that's quite funny. That's, that's not criticised. That's funny. That is quite that's funny. That's quite funny. They've they, they got taken in, in the end. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's, isn't that, isn't that your job to collect the bins? Yeah, why are you complaining? Yeah. Bin make it good money as well, I heard. Because mm. of the hours and the... Yeah, that's what, that's what I find that funny. Yeah. Right. My uni house has had sa- scaffolding on it for the whole two years we've lived there. One Wednesday night, I got home drunk, try, trying to sleep. When I heard a knock at the door, which is at 4am, and my ex-housemate running out of her room. Her room at the time, which is now my room, was at the front window, which has scaffolding right outside the window. Girl, please. Three drunk males have climbed the scaffolding, knocking on her bedroom window, and tried entering the house. My ex-housemate opened the door to them, thinking she knew them, and three random drunk males walked upstairs to our rooms, asking... For another female who lives in the house, but she brought another boy home. It scared us for weeks. Fuck that. What? Move out the house now. Can I confirm she did not. No, I know. Like, that is so scary. That is. That's terrifying. Also, over, all over, all over for one girl who clearly isn't interested because she's taking another boy home. I so don't know what your, I would do. Your boy is to climb scaffolding and break into her house. Could you imagine window? just opening the window and you just see like these three boys just climbing like Spider Man up a scaffolding? Right, so I'm like scaling my 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 like piping. That's up my tapped. Door. Oh my god. That's tapped. Why is she let them in? Because she thought she knew them. Mm. They could they could barge their way in as well. Yeah, it's like so psychopaths. Bad. Now, what I want to know is, what were you going to do if the girl was in the house? Yeah, and she wasn't with another boy. No. Fucking psychos, Jesus. Yeah. Get a grip. Five Gs. <laughs> we can change it. Good God, guys, get a grip. Good God, guys, get a grip. Yeah, man, for real. No, that's that's quite scary. That's a, that's a police mail. That, yeah. Where's the CCTV? I'd love to see that, though. Mm. <gasps> Would you not? The CCTV on that. What, if three men climbing a scaffolding, <laughs> trying to break into yeah. a house? How that's long will they have that for? I'd love to know. No, that's scary. That's why you need a ring doorbell. Yeah, man. I think every uni house should have ring They should. Doors. They're really... They're, like, act like I have one. Um, they, they, I think they are. I want one for my home like, at home. But I saw this... Um, I was watching American Horror Story, um, and the ring doorbell was, like, cursed. And, like, if they What's tried... What happened to that show? <laughs> what has happened they to that They would try Horror get in the house, and then they would kill the people in the house if they opened up kind of thing. Um, this is this. The new one. Yeah. Stories. It's quite good. Oh, right, right, mm. yeah. No, but I don't know what I would do. Like, imagine waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning and there's, like, some scary man outside your house, like, banging on the door. I'd be I'd right. Be... I can't. I don't really hear shit from my from my room. Oh, yeah. oh, I live on the top floor as well, so it wouldn't be my issue. Yeah. I hear the doorbell sometimes. I do just close <laughs> my eyes, ignore it. Ask close my eyes, hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. Well, but if, please, if, if I'm playing music or I'm watching TV, I genuinely cannot hear the doorbell. Hello? Hello? <laughs> But I got, Fucking yeah, I low air, aeroplane. Yeah, what the hell? We're not near an airport. <laughs> airport? airport? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not near an airport. Actually. We're not near an awesome. airport. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's... That's scary. Yeah. In first year, we had to buy padlocks for our fridge and freezer. Our flatmates stole over £100 of our food. They also had a food fight with the food and left smashed, rotting eggs all over the floor and melted cheese splattered up the walls. Wow. Like... Look, no. it, it, it gets to a point, right, where you look at the individual and you think, <laughs> what? Who raised you? <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to look, and then, you know, I don't dare speak with people's parents, but I'm thinking, who raised you? Yeah. You've not done that all by yourself. Someone at home told you that's okay. To steal or someone's food. you were so controlled at home that you think this is now fun and crazy to do. Yeah. The stealing, that's a bit annoying. Like, it's a lot of money. That is kind of, so yeah, hundred pounds. That's a but that's why? A four why are you, why are you trashing everyone's area? That's so. I that that is genuinely. I to, would love to have a food fight, but like we had a, a weird one. I don't really get involved. We're just playing raps at people each other in first year. It was really weird, but I don't really get involved. Found, it's found so found messy. Quite sexual because uh, <laughs> no, because right. Picture it. <laughs> ha ha. Food fight. It's so funny. We're all chucking things at each other. Ten minutes. It's not last more than fifteen minutes. 
right, 20 minutes later now, you've stopped laughing. You're now covered in food, I've got to clean it up. That's so embarrassing. An egg would hurt as well if that's thrown at you. Yeah, and that the, the, the thing is... Shells. Yes, a sharp. <laughs> Please, it's, that's, it's, it's awful. Not for me. Oh, you've had an egg thrown at you? No, food fights, I just think. Also, my guy had to melt cheese to throw at the ball. Oh my God, yeah. What? Can you imagine, guys, hold on for five minutes and let me stick it in the microwave? <laughs> let me just... I'd be burning, I'd be hot. Third degree burns from what? Cheese being thrown uh, at you. Please, honestly, who raised you? <laughs> like animals. Yeah, were, were you dragged up? I love that, that is such a good thing to say. Okay. You weren't raised, you were dragged up. <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend lives with two girls he's shagged. <gasps> How serious were they shagging? This is the one time thinking freshers week. No, not deep. Right, we're not, we don't need context. Sorry, um, I love context, but like, mm, I, no, would, I would be, I, I would find that weird. Yeah. It would like, even as much as you could trust the person, it would still be That's still mind. weird. Because I'm like, I know you clearly had enough attraction to yeah. sleep with them. Potentially multiple times. Oh no, that just doesn't sit right with me. Are the two girls friends now? Like, they must be, they're living together. Oh no. Yeah. My God, my insecurities would be screaming yeah. at me. No, thank you. Right, this, this was a long one, Joe. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I live with a girl in first year who claimed to be engaged to someone who was on trial for murder. Um, they apparently split up on a Tuesday. She shagged another guy in our flat on the Wednesday. On the Thursday, she was acting like she was in okay, love with the Craig bloke. Okay, David, in seven days. <laughs> <laughs> on the Thursday, she was acting like she was in love with the bloke who lived with us. And that same day, he told her that it was a mistake. The Ooh. Friday, she was engaged <laughs> to the other bloke again. And on the Saturday, the guy who was apparently on trial for murder came to our flat and bought us pizza. Overall, not a bad week. Uh, it was a good week. She went through a lot. She went through the seven stages of grief. She, <laughs> she seven? really... Potentially. Five. Oh, five. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, I'm glad you told us that now before we started yeah. rambling about yeah. for ages. Right. Let's guess what's happened to <laughs> No, but she... She, heard, she went through it. She heard Craig David telling her about his week and she thought, I'll one-up you, Craig. <laughs> his wife could do it seven days. That's a I lot. Got. Free pizza, though. Can't complain. Engaged to two different people. Oh, I thought she got re-engaged back to him. On Thursday. To a new guy, I thought. The Friday she was engaged to other bloke again. Oh, so sad. Jeez. Wow. He's on trial for murder. What's he out and about? No, it says, didn't, it doesn't say like. Yeah, certainly the guy who was apparently on trial for murder oh. came to our flat and brought us pizza. Girl, I I'd be, I'd, murder, be lo- I'd be locking my room. I would not be seeing, sure even if it was free pizza. Around. Put the pizza under the door. Yeah, I am please, not I'll take this pizza, guy. big garlic dip, though, but please. <laughs> leave door. No, but should, no, he shouldn't be allowed to be out and about, though, if he's on murder, trial for murder. There's a lot of flaws in this story. Yeah. Hmm. Now yeah. I'm calling bullshit. Did any of this actually <laughs> yeah. happen? Second year, lived with a boyfriend at the time. He decided to bring back a girl after he broke up. Turns out he had the clap, and I was in the room downstairs knowing what he was doing. Felt peak for the girl, but it was his ting, so I wasn't going to interrupt. Guess what society he was in? Men's football. Union. Oh. I'm going men's football. That is men's football all over. Sorry, men's football. <laughs> that just seems men's football. I didn't quite realise how severe the clap is at uni until starting this podcast. Yeah, it's, it goes <laughs> round. <laughs> like, I didn't realise it is like... It's, pan- it's, it's like a fly on it's, shit. It's, epi- it's, it's not everywhere. It's epidemic. It's bad. It is everywhere. Why does no one... I don't know how it originated. Again, contraception is free. Yeah. Wash... That doesn't Question stop you from getting no. a clap. I don't know how. Right. Oh, you did how, not just say wash to stop you from getting how a did, clap. How, do you, how does the how does the first person get clap? Oh. Right. No, sorry. You said Please, wash. I, to, do, I would actually like a fact check. Is it because the guy shagged a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember hearing that. I'm running with it. So, but either way, like I don't think it is. There must be ways. Well, those ways to prevent the yeah, clap. Yeah, you don't not. have a shower and then all of a sudden you're clean of chlamydia. No, obviously not, but like hygiene. It's through, surely. it's through, um, liquids. Li- yeah. Yeah, fluids. I think it's yeah, through no, ejaculation, fluid. like spunk. Oh, that was a disgusting word. I don't know why that was. Why? Don't know why. Out of all the words, I said spunk. 
No, um, please. Jizz. Come. Come. <laughs> bodily fluids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's through bodily fluids. It, that's, it's no, I, I don't know why I thought you'd maybe like... Oh, you know what? Let me just have a really hot shower and let me clean away or the Or maybe, clap. you know, I can prevent having the clap. I should have, you know, make sure it's all clean. No. 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 You start yourself from getting the clap if you have fucking wear a condom. God forbid, but just give it... Actually, yeah, men's at ball union. Mm. Sorry, boys. Um... I ran out of bread, asked my flatmate if they had any I could use for a sandwich, went to get it out of the cupboard, and there were two loaves of literal blue dust from where it was so mouldy. <laughs> I find it You're not so a uni funny. student if your bread hasn't gone mouldy. Yeah, I sometimes, look, I'll, I'll admit, again, I like me and my science experiments, I bought cheese ages ago. Oh, my ago, God, Al. Like this smoked cheese. If this isn't a red flag, I don't know what it is. Boys, stay away. <laughs> no, please don't stay away. Um, I bought some smoked cheese. I ate most of it, but there's bits left, and I was just going mild. And I thought, how long can I wait until someone pulls up on it? Oh my god! I swear it's really <laughs> dangerous to inhale mold as well. How how are you huffing in the fridge? Like, like what why you is your bread in the fridge? Cheese, I'm talking. Oh about. fuck, sorry. But I think I think bread is so it is so. Yeah, like, but still, if your cheese is in the fridge, it's gonna spores it? are gonna go everywhere. That was like, it was all like contained. It was mad. I just I want to see if I didn't like it's like it. the Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, containing. Yeah, but no one pulled me up on it. I was quite, oh, I'm bored now. I'm just going to the bin. It's fun, honestly. Things you've got to do. No. You keep so entertained. What, watch mould grow? Yeah, every, every other day. Hey, have a look. Have a look. <laughs> Get an name it. <laughs> you might should have. Oh, you've grown, you've grown a sibling. Yeah, another one. <laughs> no, mouldy bread is funny though. It's so crazy how it goes mouldy. Do you know what just goes mouldy as quickly? Wraps? Yes. Bagels. Really? I had bagels. I'm a, I'm a, I hate to say it, I'm a bagel era right now. All I'm eating is bagels. I love the um, sesame seeds. Yeah, that's what I've got. And I had them for a hot minute and they were not going moldy at all. I was mad. I was like... Did yeah, they go stale? No, no, no I might sell. Wrap them up. Oh. I love bagels, man. That's my bread of choice. I love crumpets as well. They're oh, so no, easy. Okay. I do a crumpet. Okay. Weird texture in my mouth. <laughs> I don't like them. Housemate managed to lose his pet hamster at the start of the year. <gasps> it's still not been found. Oh. Justice for the hamster, honestly. R.O.P. Hamsters are crazy, though. Like, we have a hamster. This bitch, love her. She lives, like, in between, you know, she lives yeah, like, yeah, in yeah. between the two floors, like, at the bottom of the stairs that go to the next floor, because it's the four girls that share her. We were all getting ready for Varsity, I think. Was I there with you? Yeah. We no, all, we were doing... Um, bring a lady. We were yeah, all sh- nearing, shaving on those legs. legs. And was it you or someone were like, the fuck is a rat in the room? <laughs> and they were like, turn around. It's like a hamster. She's got she out climbed of the cage. up the stairs. She's only a little... She's a, she's a little she's Russian t- dwarf she's hamster. Tiny. She's tiny. She got out of the cage, came up the stairs, and came to where the, where the party was going down. And we were like, girl, what the fuck are you doing up here? Crazy. But she is... She is slowly... Go, she's slowly at yeah, the end of her she, life. But she's fighting. She's a trooper. Yeah. She, like... Oh, I didn't you forget to, to feed her for a day and she's still alive? More than a day, trust me. But my... <laughs> aren't, you, aren't you responsible for her now? Oh, don't take the piss. Yeah, I swear I'll feed her when I get back. <laughs> I might have to feed uh, her. What's RSPCA her? turn up at your door now? <laughs> please, please. Um, oh, my God. Also, I've just realised the housemate that was going to take her home for Easter now cannot do that. I can feed it to my cats. We were gonna say, we were gonna say, do you think you'd be able to pop, pop in every now and then, like give us some cucumber? Who me? Yeah, I'm in York for the first week. Fuck. Well, I thought that. I'll one. just take it to my cats. No, 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 because no, I would never do that. No, I'm so, I don't know like, why that even into um, my head. We've had her for over a year now, which is big. That's crazy. How long so, do they live? Like six months. I th- I was gonna give her eighteen months, and that was it. But she's still kicking. Like, but her back, the hair on her back legs, just every now and then, just. Disappears and like she's like bored her back <laughs> later. It's she looks so ill. And then we feed her because we, I say we, my housemate gives her like fresh cucumber and peas and like some little baby food puree. Mm. She loves that shit. Um, and then her hair will grow back or it won't grow back. And then we forget to feed her for a little bit. Her hair's growing back, and we're thinking, oh, you're not dying, babes. Yeah, I well, think it's cancer, but it's not because she's lasted long. I swear you only lose your hair if you go on chemo. That's in humans. Oh. Because <laughs> my mate, my mate, her hamster, no, my sister's friend, not my friend, my sister's friend, her hamster did the same thing and had cancer. Oh. But we can't afford to go to the vets 
No, not for a hamster. Not for a hamster. I'm so sorry. I feel like uh, a uni, uni, uni pets, you have to be very careful because um, the football girls yeah. had a hamster and then the landlord came in and said, get the fuck rid of that now. And then they had to go back to pets at home. Yeah. That's so sad. Just got to be careful. Make sure, because our animals, it's small cage animals they're calm with. If it's mm. not... If it's a dog. <laughs> yeah. We have dogs around all the time though, but like it's not... Yeah, a pet dog. Me and Annabelle want a kitten for the top floor. Oh! I really want a kitten. Oh my God, I'd be around that all the time. Yeah. I'm thinking indoor cat, calm. Get a self clean litter tray, calm. Mm. Lana comes over, oh, my sister, Mike, she's just standing for a weekend. Oh. I think we pull off. Mm, you I really want a kitten so bad. I love cats. Um, I was only... I was the only one that cleaned the house, decided to go on strike and stop cleaning the house, left it two weeks before I gave in. There was mouldy pasta on the kitchen side, <gasps> gloopy, out of date, dark fruits left on the side. Oh. Didn't even know dark fruits could go off. Dark fruit stains. Took me well. three hours just to do the washing up because there was so much. But how can everyone else, again, where how, you dragged how can, up? How, how can, can you, like, you live in such a, like a pigsty? Yeah, like, okay. Look, we all leave our plates every now and then, you know, a couple yeah, of plates. Yeah, but not two weeks worth. No, it's grim. Uh, what are you eating off of? The floor? For real? What are you... Where, exactly? I bet their rooms are probably just as bad as the kitchen. Just as bad as yours, and that's hard to beat. No, my room's not that bad. It's just clothes everywhere. You have too many. You need to get rid of some. No, I Charity can't. shop it. I bought this today. Oh, that's nice. I got noodles down it the minute I put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Stressful, but yeah. Yeah. I will not stop buying clothes. Also, I I mean going on strike's a bit extra, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. That but is it, that is very I mean, much it, that's it very much pick me, a, it, choose me, love me. It gets to a point though, you're thinking, why why am I doing this? No one gives a shit. Yeah. Then they, but then they care that much that they they also live with living in that. Mm. And you well, wouldn't want to. Yeah. It's just I don't get it. Had some damp in my room that the landlord claimed I can't read today. Had some damp in my room that the landlord claimed was condensation, ending up turning my entire bedroom walls mouldy and black as well as my wardrobe <gasps> and drawers. So half my clothes also ended up mouldy and wouldn't dry. Oh. That is the issue. Landlords should not fix that. They don't care. No, my they mate, don't. Landlords mate, don't care. Her, her uni bag, her, train, her school shoes, her trainers, her shoes, all covered in mould. The landlord was not fixing it at all. I yeah, land- don't do it. some landlords are. I'm not going to name and shame. Do not name and shame landlords. But. Um, there's a certain company that did fuck all for our house in second year. Like, there was literally mould everywhere. And they told us to turn on the heating to get rid of the mould. Turned on the heating. The cheek of it, they at, when we um, left, they charged us for the heating. It's awful. They fucking charged us for the heating. And then when if we didn't fight back and say, look, you told us to turn the heating on to get mm. rid of the damp, we wouldn't have got that money back. I think it was like £3,000 <gasps> over. And they were that they were they weren't going to give it us back. That's awful. And then until we argued it, then that's when they were like, "Oh, okay, that's fight, that's fair enough." Which then makes me realize that's what makes me think like all these students that don't fight like their sides, yeah, like th- don't get their money back. No, yeah, like S- some are they slimy. They're so slimy. My landlord, but you know, he is lovely. He mm. does. Like, we call the maintenance guy in all the time. He's always around. Love him. We've got him on speed dial, <laughs> like. I'm actually going to ask him to come over because my... Just have a sit-down meal. Yeah, mate, how have you been? So I'm from the other day in town. <laughs> but, I, um, like, my shower wasn't draining and, like, yeah. leaked down into the bath, into the bathroom below mine. He came and, like, sorted it out for me. But some landlords don't care. No, some landlords And they will blame don't. you for it. Mm-hmm. Like, we... There's, you know, there's landlords like this that don't care. Like, mould is such an easy thing to get rid of, I think, as well. Yeah. If you just do the right things... But they just don't care. And um, so our, we didn't like our basement in, when we first moved into our second oh, house. Yeah. And we'd, 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 it was just a bit, just weird. It was so weird. So we like revamped it ourselves. And we like, okay, it's more homely now. We can sit down here and enjoy things. And um, we had two weeks before actually broken the TV. We then just <laughs> looked like in there for two weeks. And the house decided, okay, right. We'll all take a bit of our, of our deposit for this. Mm. And then the landlord was like, if you stay here next year, I won't charge you for the the TV um, sound. They went, okay, we'll actually only stay here if you fix the basement for us. <laughs> so he, he redid the whole basement for us because we made it, we did it ourselves, sat all on the sofas and the sofa just like collapsed uh. underneath us. And we we're like, yeah, this ain't working. Babes, can you come do this for us? He built us a sofa. Oh, slow. He got us like bean bags. He is, honestly, we have a lovely landlord. He is really, he's really nice. Now I'm going to ask the maintenance. Sometimes guy. I just like, 
even though he knows I don't live there, he would just oh. let me in. I'm yeah, like, it was one oh. time. <laughs> he <laughs> came, he, when I actually broke uh, Alex's radiator. Oh, yeah. Because I lent on it and it just Burst. came apart. Um, he came the next day to like bleed all of our other radiators. I was at uni. I, my mates were in my room and they're like, yeah, the boiler man's in here. And I was like, slave, he didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> and my mum was a mess as well. He had, my mate had the cheeks to be like, oh, sorry about the mess. <laughs> Someone could have warned me he was coming in. If he, I don't even <laughs> try to clean my room, but like, love him, maintenance guy. Yeah. I'm actually going to invite him over because... Invite him to Palm Fest. Not invite him over. Yeah, need to do that, actually. Not invite him over, but I my... um, What's it called? My sink drain is really clogged up and it's... I have like those like little elastic bands down there, and I'm trying to try and pick them out. It looks like like tentacles, and it scares me, so I can't go near it. So <laughs> I keep thinking it's like a, a creature in my sink. Oh, it fares. So I'm too scared to do it myself. Okay. I'm the hair there, it's scary. Oh, me. that's yeah, that's vile. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna ask him to do it for me. Um, that's gross. Yeah. But um, I feel like one thing to take away is mm. uh, you can see in every th- like most of these responses, dirty housemates. Yeah. Shagging a mess. House. Yeah. Shagging a mess and cheating. More cheating. Again, everyone And clap. Cheating. Yeah. The fucking clap. I didn't realise it was such a big thing. No, it's a pandemic. It's Asia, guys. <laughs> forget Correct. COVID. No, don't forget COVID. No, don't forget but COVID. But don't clap. Forget COVID. Clap yeah. is a new thing. Um, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed yeah, next week's this episode. Yeah. Next week's uh, cool. Topic. I got it. Next week's topic is uni food, mm. which I think we're gonna have some good things about that because. What's the worst? Like the un, the most I've unnecessary some, I've thing. I've eaten some gopping stuff. Yeah, some disgusting stuff. Like, it, it get it gets dire. I've it's, eaten some yeah. horrid stuff. You get in a, you get in, you get to a point where you're like, I have no money. I'm gonna have to cook something. But we're looking forward to hearing, to hearing them. So keep an well. eye out on the student dot Instagram when we ask yeah. for your responses. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll see you next week. Please subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Subscribe, please. See you later. See ya.